Hey there guys, it's WinClient here, and in this video I'm going to be talking about Supermium and the features it offers other over other Chromium-based browsers, so let's get right into it. So here's Supermium running on my main OS here, I'm running Windows Vista, and this is Supermium version 122, 64-bit. Uh, Supermium was actually developed by a really good friend of mine named Win32, and I'll put a link to the website for the browser in the description where you can download it. Um, so one of the biggest features of Supermium over other browsers is that it restores support for Windows XP and newer. So it supports XP, Vista 7, and 8, unlike pretty much all other mainstream web browsers. And it actually supports Windows XP Service Pack 1 or later. And if you didn't know, Chrome never even officially supported XP Service Pack 1. It only ever supported, I believe, Service Pack 2 and later. So this is pretty impressive that we're able to run it on Service Pack 1. Um, it also restores the classic style tab design that was used in Chromium 55, I believe, up until around 68, 69, somewhere around there. Um, that's when they changed it to the style that is still used today. However, in Supermium, you have the option to go with this older trapezoidal style tab, which I really like. Um, we also have reduced system requirements. So normally, Chrome would need an SSE 3 capable processor, but Supermium only needs an SSE, SSE 2 capable processor. And it also only needs a minimum of 768 megs of RAM, however 2 gigs or greater is recommended. And so for this next part, I'm going to need my virtual machine down here running Windows XP. So Supermium has actually, Win32 has actually managed to partially fix hardware acceleration on Windows XP. So if you didn't know, hardware acceleration has actually been broken on Chrome on Windows XP since I believe 2013, that's what uh, Win32 was telling me, despite the fact that Chrome was still supported until 2016 on XP. Um, however, Win32 has managed to partially fix uh, hardware acceleration, so um, I think DirectX 9 and OpenGL are partially working. However, video acceleration, unfortunately, is still not working at the moment, and it only partially works on Windows XP Service Pack 3. So if you try this on Service Pack 2 or 1, it may not work. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't really tested it on those, but I do know it partially works on Service Pack 3. So we're going to load up this. This is my Windows XP virtual machine. It does look a lot like Windows Vista. However, this is in fact Windows XP. This is just a modified version made by an, uh, another member in our community, but that's a different video for another day. So let's take a brief look here. So here's Supermium, and uh, have this tab open just to kind of prove that this is Chrome 122 on Windows 5.1. That's Windows XP's version number. So we'll close out of that. And I'll do a little demonstration and show that YouTube videos load. Load up my channel because I don't want to get copyright stricken. <laughs> so, as you can see, the video is loading. Um, we'll skip this ad. When client here, and I know. As you can hear, the audio works and it's running at 1080p. And if we check our CPU usage, I did give this VM quite a bit of power. So, if we I'm gonna mute the audio and we'll play. As you can see, it's really not using too much of our resources here. Now, granted, this is pretty modern hardware. This is a 12th gen Intel Core i7, uh, 12700 KF. So it is, you know, pretty powerful hardware. But this is a virtual machine with only three gigs of RAM. So definitely not too bad. Oops. So here we are. This is Supermium, and I'll go to the About page, as you can see. And so this is Windows XP Service Pack 3 running what is essentially the latest version of Chrome. So very nice, very impressive to see this. And um, while I'm on the topic, Windows, Windows 2000.
thousand support is actually planned for the future as well um, but he's not gotten to that yet but it is in the works so another feature is fully fully working hardware acceleration on Windows Vista and newer however on Windows Vista you will need to install the platform update and well service pack 2 and the platform update in that order in order for hardware acceleration to work properly on Vista so if you have service pack 1 or RTM Vista you'll have to update it for that feature to work properly it's so um, if you don't really know what hardware acceleration is, it basically takes some of the load off of the CPU and utilizes your GPU for things like rendering the browser window and playing video, so that way the CPU is not taking the brunt of it and so it improves performance. Um, another thing is, uh, you may know this here, um, so this is a little bit of a history lesson, I won't get too deep into it, but back in 2016, Chrome released Chrome for, or Google released Chrome version 41, and doing so, they actually um, dropped Windows Vista support indirectly. Um, I won't get too deep into this in this video. I'm actually going to make a video about this in the future. But to make a long story short, what they did was they started delivering the same version of Chrome for Windows XP and Vista, and in doing so, they broke a lot of functionality on Windows Vista. And one of the things that stuck out the most to people that got quite a, a few complaints back in the day, myself included, was they no longer sh used the native window title bar. So Windows Arrow Glass was not used in Chrome anymore with version 41 on Windows Vista. And instead it used the blue, uh, solid blue colored bar that was used in the Windows XP version of Chrome, which looked really out of place. However, you can see here that Win32 has brought back uh, native Arrow Glass support for Windows Vista users, so the browser looks much better and much more fitting with uh, the Windows Vista UI design. So I really do appreciate that. And um, similarly, he also removed the restriction to only use the Windows 10 style uh, title bar. Um, if you tried to run a newer version of Chrome on Windows 7, and I believe Windows 8, um, you can run like slightly newer versions of Chrome on those OS's. I don't know, I think that, I think that it still works on Windows 8 if you modify it slightly. I don't know anything about how to do that or anything, so don't ask me in the comments. But I know on Windows 7, newer versions have been able to work with the VXKEX uh, extended kernel, quote unquote, that someone made for Windows 7. Um, and when you would run Chrome on Windows 7, just normal Chrome, not Supermium, it would use the Windows 10 style uh, title bar and you couldn't, I think you could change it up to a certain version and they removed the flag to disable it so you'd have that Windows 10 ugly theme on Windows 7, but Supermium removes that restriction and allows you to use the native glass title bar on Windows 7 as well. So. Um, another thing is Manifest V2 support will remain in Supermium, so I don't know if you've heard, but Google plans to remove support for Manifest V2 eventually, and they're going to push the Manifest V3 extension, um, the Manifest 3 v V3 extensions, however, Supermium is not going to remove Manifest, Manifest V2, so that will remain as part of Supermium. Which is really nice and you may also notice um, if we go back into XP here I'll just demonstrate this so one thing I haven't mentioned yet is the website itself the download page for Supermium what's really nice about this is this website will actually load in anything um, from Internet Explorer 5 and newer so here I am running Internet Explorer 7 and as you can see, this is a pretty old browser, it's from 2006, and it's able to load this web page just fine. They made sure that the web page will load in older browsers, so if you're using an older operating system like XP or Vista or 7, and you obviously the only browser that comes with the operating system out of the box is Internet Explorer, and these versions of IE are really old, so it's really nice that you're able to just go to this website and download a modern browser without needing to download it on another system and copy it over or, you know whatever you're you're able to just utilize what's already built into the operating system 
Um, but anyway, I've already downloaded it, and I'm just going to show you this really quick. So we'll open the installer. Wait for it to extract here. So we have options here to enable ungoogled supermium so it actually has the ungoogled uh, features from ungoogled chromium if you've never heard of that basically it just removes all of the google related services and tracking and stuff like that so we have that option actually in, in uh, supermium if you want to install it with those features in or enabled you're, you can do that and it also has the emoji font here what that does is uh, older versions of Windows, like uh, Windows 7, Vista, and XP, they don't have an emoji font installed by default, at least I don't think Vista or 7 do. Um, but what this does is it installs that font so you don't get a lot of blank squares in place of emojis, because you will get that a lot since they're utilized quite a bit on modern websites. And that brings me to the final thing, which is GDI font rendering. So. Uh, Supermium, or Chromium rather, actually forced you to use uh, DirectWrite um, after a certain point. However, now with Supermium, you have the ability to disable that and go back to the GDI font rendering, which is what's being used right now on Windows XP. Anyway, I think that about wraps it up. I'll just shut down my VM here. VM, this Windows Vista aesthetic going on here. It's really neat. Um, I'll definitely be making a video about this in the future. Uh, anyway, uh, that about wraps it up for this video, and I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, please feel free to comment and rate the video and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and if you want to see more videos like this, I'll put a link in the description to the browser, and I will put a link in the description to Win32's Patreon if you'd like to donate to kind of help the browser development. Um, any donations are appreciated any, of any size. Um, One dollar, ten dollars, doesn't matter, whatever you can afford. Uh, every bit of it goes to the development of this web browser and, and Win32 appreciates any donations that he gets. So anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.